video, I'm going to give you some study tips for your final exams. The first tip is that you should start working on your outlines early. And honestly, this might be the most important tip. You've probably heard this tip in other videos and you're hearing it again here because it is so, so important. The best way you can start preparing for a final is to start outlining early. The goal of outlining is not to just have this work product, this outline at the end of the semester. You're not turning your outline in for a grade. Instead, the goal of outlining is to force you to actually think about everything that you learned. Think about the law. Think about the hypos that you covered in class and all of the examples. Force yourself to synthesize it and make sense of it. So if you start outlining early on and you start thinking about the materials this way, you're giving yourself time to digest everything and you're going to be able to better focus when, on practice exams when your exam period rolls around. A lot of students who put off outlining are doing all of that understanding and outlining when they should be doing practice exams. So again, you can be really ahead of the curve if you start outlining and thinking about the law early on rather than procrastinating and waiting for the last minute. The second tip really goes hand in hand with number one, but we also recommend that you take steps to memorize your outlines. Some of your exams might be open book and some of your exams might be closed book. And a lot of students think that if they have an open book final exam, that they don't have to memorize the law because they can bring in their notes, their case book, their outline with them to the exam, and they're gonna be able to just look everything up. We actually disagree. We believe that whether your exam is open or closed book, you should still be taking steps to memorize your outline. This is another reason to make sure that you are starting to outline early. That way you have time to memorize your outline after you create it. And the reason we recommend that you try to memorize your outline, even for an open book exam, is because this will give you an edge over your classmates who don't have the law memorized. They're going to be relying on their outlines and using their precious time during the exam period, searching through their notes, reading it, and trying to understand it in that moment. You, on the other hand, will have it there if you need it, but you're gonna know it pretty well. And you're going to be able to use your time instead to answer your professor's questions, make sure that you're not missing any facts or important arguments, and using your exam time in a manner that is really going to set your answer apart. The third study tip for finals is to complete practice exams. Another benefit of starting to outline early is that not only will you have that extra time to better understand the law and to have it memorized, but you're also going to have time to complete practice exams as well. And this is also really important because taking a law school exam is likely to be unlike any other exam you faced so far in your education. So getting your feet wet and getting some practice under your belt is another great way to make your exam answers superior to your classmates' answers. And honestly, you're probably gonna feel more comfortable and confident walking into the exam. If it's possible, we recommend that you get your hands on some of your professor's old exams, especially if there are some with model or sample student answers. You should take those practice exams under time circumstances, try to simulate the exam experience just as it will be on exam day. You should also set aside adequate time to go over your practice exam answers because there's no point in practicing if you're not going to take the time to figure out what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. By figuring out what you need to improve during this study period, you'll be able to write a stellar answer on the day of the actual exam. The final tip is don't focus too much on cases. In law school, it's easy to get obsessed with the cases. Most of your professors probably assign a ton of cases for your reading, and sometimes the facts are nuanced or maybe they're kind of interesting. And class discussions usually center around these cases. But remember, although it is important to try to understand the cases, generally your final exams are not going to be testing details from those cases. Remember the point of most of your 1L exams is to see if you can extract the law and apply it to a set of facts. You will not be expected to recite the plaintiff's arguments in a particular case or identify the procedural history of a case on the exam. So you should try not to get too caught up in the details of cases since that's not gonna get you a higher grade on the exam. Make sure you are studying smart and keep your goals in mind. 
you are preparing yourself for your final exam.